Hey guys, today the Reserve Bank announced the OCR, or the official cash rate, is being cut by 0.25%. In this video, I'm going to explore why that matters. First things first, what exactly is the OCR? The official cash rate is basically an interest rate set by the Reserve Bank of New Zealand. They're the ones that issue and maintain our cash, the New Zealand dollar. This interest rate, the OCR, is essentially the rate at which the Reserve Bank lends money to commercial banks like ANZ, ASB, those guys. The Reserve Bank moves the official cash rate up and down to influence the amount of economic activity. When the OCR is high, borrowing money becomes more expensive, which can slow down spending. Conversely, when it's low, borrowing is cheaper, encouraging spending and investment. The Reserve Bank wants to control economic activity as it generally has a positive effect on the inflation rate. When economic activity increases, there is more scarcity in society, causing inflationary pressure to rise as the price of everything is bid up. That is where we were for the past year or so. The OCR was set at 5.5%, which is the highest the rate had been since 2008. Over the past year, this has created a situation of lower economic activity as people have been spending less which has brought inflation down. The Reserve Bank has a target range of 1-3% to over the medium term, and currently we're at 3.3% and rapidly falling. So that is the OCR. Let's now talk about today's announcement. Today, on August 14th, the Reserve Bank of New Zealand decided to cut the OCR by 25 basis points, or 0.25%, to 5.25%. This was the first cut in over four years. The last reduction we saw was in early 2020 when the pandemic struck. The Reserve Bank made this decision as inflationary pressures in New Zealand have started to ease. Inflation was up over 7% and it now sits at just 3.3%. The Reserve Bank's monetary policy statement highlighted that although inflation is still elevated above their target range of 1-3%, it's on a downwards trend. They expect inflation to return to normal by the September quarter in a month's time. They also mentioned that economic growth has been slowing and even expected to go negative for the sixth instance from the past nine quarters. Unemployment is also on the rise, which likely influenced their decision to cut the OCR today. So how does this cut to the OCR affect you? While the OCR has an indirect influence on the interest rates that banks charge to you and I, this happens across all all of the lending products, but mainly our mortgages. When the OCR changes, often it is closely followed by a drop in term deposit rates and mortgage rates. Just minutes after today's announcement, Kiwi Bank decreased all of their rates by 25 basis points. ASB closely followed, dropping their rates by 10 to 34 basis points. And ANZ rounded out the moves, dropping their floating rates by 10 points. Some of the commentary from banks is positive on the outlook from here. A general manager at ASB said, this is the 12th time since November we've lowered our fixed mortgage rates, and it will help alleviate some of the pressure being felt by some of our homeowners. A managing director at ANZ and Z had the same sentiment, saying for the average borrower we do expect conditions to improve from here. Many of you have seen banks dropping their rates in recent months too, even before the drop today in the OCR. In addition to the OCR, wholesale interest rates or swap rates also have an impact on the rates charged by banks. The swap rates dropped substantially in recent months, which would have affected the banks differently depending on their funding structure. This is why we saw all the major banks dropping rates even before today's announcement. A drop in the OCR will have the greatest impact on floating or variable rate loans. Business customers will feel this quickly as a greater number of business loans are tied to the OCR or a variable base rate. Mortgage holders with a floating tranche or on a variable first time rate should see the impact of the cut shortly. Most households, however, fix their mortgage rates for periods anywhere from six months out to five years. They will only see the benefit of lower interest rates when it comes time to refix their loans. If you refixed your mortgage in the past couple years and decided to break your loan to refix at lower current rates, you may want to reconsider. Break costs arise in a falling interest rate environment like what we have today. These can be expensive, so just make sure that your numbers stack up. So we know what the OCR is and how it affects you and I, and we've already seen banks starting to drop their interest rates. Where is it going from here? Well, unless we have a crystal ball, it's all a big guess. The wholesale rates, which is a proxy for the market, 
told us there was about a 60 to 70% chance of a cut today. Many of our banks and economists were completely caught off guard by today's announcement. ANZ, Westpac and Kiwi Bank all expected the rate to hold at 5.5%. ASB expected a drop and so too did BNZ, although it was with some hesitation. Brad Olson, the chief executive of Infometrics, even went as far as saying that heads should roll if the OCR was to be cut this cycle. So even the guys staring at the numbers all day every day tend to get these forecasts wrong. I mean, even the Reserve Bank was saying in May that the earliest we could expect a cut would be in the second half of next year. Most major banks have revised their projections to expect 25 basis point drops at the two remaining meetings of the year. One of these is in September and the other is in October. The Reserve Bank itself expects the OCR to hit 4.9% by December, 4.4% by June, and 3.8% by the end of 2025. In 2027, which is anyone's guess, they've penciled in a rate of 3%. As a very arbitrary measure, and certainly not to be relied on, if we take today's one-year rate at ASB of 6.59% and subtract the OCR of 5.25%, we get a margin of 1.34%. If we extrapolate this over the next year and a half, we could see the one-year rate hit 6.2% in December, 5.7% in June, and even 5.1% by December 2025. Now that's a very loose calculation, but it's a day to be optimistic. If you want to keep up to date with the latest mortgage rates in New Zealand, make sure to visit my Substack where I post the best rates weekly. I've included a link down below in the video description. While you're down there, make sure to subscribe to my channel to see all of my future content in the personal finance and investing space. Thanks for watching and I look forward to catching you on the next one. Cheers.